Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. Now this video is a kind of Instagram tutorial, how to grow your Instagram, stuff like that, tips and tricks that I have personally learned. So let's go ahead and in 3, 2, 1, now my iPhone has been screen recorded so you guys can now see what I'm actually doing instead of just talking, you actually have a visual image. So as you can see, here's my Instagram homepage. Now I'll kind of give you guys, if you don't know what Instagram is, a basic overview of Instagram. So basically you have your home profile page right here, your description, all your photos, your stories, stuff like that, and then you have a little heart icon to see who's liked your stuff. You have a search, the search for people that you, the friends, whatever, and you have home, you can see who you follow, their stories and photos, all, it always pops up on whoever you followed is on home. And then this little plus icon at the middle, I'll show you what that is for, but that's basically to add photos. That's kind of a 40, 30 second whatever overview of basically the basics of Instagram. Now I guess I'll give it more in depth. So Instagram you can either post, as you guys can see, this hype beast thing. You can either post a photo that'll last on your profile for a long time, and for as long as you possibly want it. You can delete it and edit it and stuff like that. But it'll stay on your profile page. Now up here you can see you have stories. These only last 24 hours. So let's go ahead and jump into if you don't want your photo to stay on there for like ever, just put it on a story and it will go away in about 24 hours. So let's go ahead and hit, so I'll just press on my story. As you guys can see, these are things that have been posted. Now this video is going to be posted, I think about, it's going to be recorded three weeks before it actually is going to be out, so this stuff will be different. But basically, just because you just saw, that those are my stories. Those were last season 17 hours ago, so in a little bit, that thing will disappear and nobody will ever see it again. So basically, how to actually add a story, if you don't already know. So go ahead and click this little, at Instagram you can see this little camera icon. So go ahead at the top of the screen, click the little camera icon, and then, you guys can see, and as you guys can see, so this is what I'm looking at right now. So go ahead and press whatever you want to add to your story. Now I'm going to go ahead and, let's say I took this really cool picture, I was in Indianapolis, not this picture, I'll go ahead and add this cool picture I took in Indianapolis. Now as you guys can see, you can add anything you want. You could add text to your story. You could actually write on your story. You can search up any cool like graphic or, or temperature, your location, anything like that on your story to make your story look whatever you want, but that is completely depending on your own situation, what you want to do. So go ahead and then I can hit a little icon that says your story. So go, go ahead and press on your story. Now that is added to my story. Now anybody that wants to click on my story can see that. Any, it only lasts for 24 hours, it'll be gone. So if you want to, you want a cool trip, you want to post those cool stories on your Instagram, that's how you do it and that's how people do if you didn't already know it. Now, I still go jump into highlights. Now highlights is also intertwined with stories. So if, let's say, so, this, so, so let's say you want to actually have a story, but you don't actually want it on your profile, but you kind of, if you went to a trip, you don't want to post all the photos on your Instagram profile, because some people want to kind of keep your profile looking really clean and stuff like that. So basically, you could add it to a story. Now I'll go to my home page right here. As you can see, it says stories, new vids, travel, and unboxing. Now if I click on that, this is things, as you guys can see, once it goes ahead and loads up, see this is 16 weeks ago, it's still on here. So as you can see, this is all my stories for my trip trip to Indianapolis. And so is my unboxing videos. So every time I do a new unboxing, it's going to be here so people can see it. My new videos, all my new um, YouTube videos that are up, those will be all on there. So basically it's a place to kind of combine like a trip or a cool experience you had so people can go ahead and see it. Now you guys can either press new highlights. New highlights will do is it'll actually add any story that you had to create your own highlight. Or you could also go here. You could also actually go to your story and go ahead and press highlights. You can either add it to your existing highlights that you've already created or you can create a new one and then that's, I don't want to go too much too much in depth of that, but you can just follow the obvious steps to be good. create the story, the highlight, so the highlight will be right here so people can see it. And that's a cool way, like I said, of combining a cool trip, or for, for your YouTube, you're probably going to put all your YouTube videos or your social media links on there. And you you want to probably keep your profile looking really nice, and doesn't you don't want 700 photos of your, of your stories, of your trip. But that's a, that's a personal preference. I personally think that's a great way of doing it. I don't. I only like posting really nice photos of my actual profile, because you want people to have a good impression. You don't people have like 700 photos of New York they're gonna think you're a New York photographer so I mean in terms of that yeah so 
Next, I'll go over here, your profile. You can add a, um, a profile picture, pretty obviously. I'm not going to do too much depth of that. But go ahead and hit edit profile. And I mean, you want to your username, your name. You want to get a good bio. You kind of want to make it obvious who you actually are. And then I connected like my Facebook page on that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit edit profile. I believe it was... I'm not exactly sure where it is. I'll go ahead and try to figure this out. Yeah, go, to, go down to settings. So if you go down to settings, you see it says business settings. Switch back to personal account. So if it doesn't say that and you're some kind of business, you want to switch it to a business account, obviously go ahead and follow the necessary steps. I won't go into too much depth of that. Now what that does is it allows you to actually put like a page, your Facebook page. You can connect your Facebook page to your Instagram profile. You can also pick a category. So it's great for people to see your profile and see, oh, he's a video creator. Uh, he's a, it's a food channel. Like that's a great way and you can put contact information if you're an actual, uh, actual business and you want people to call you or email you. So you definitely want to switch to some kind of business profile to make sure that, see it says video creator right there. It says promotions. You can go ahead and promote your Instagram page, but if you're not in a in a business account, you won't be able to do that. So make sure you guys see it back. Go back. I'll go ahead and do that again. Go to settings. Go down to business settings. If it doesn't say switch back to personal account, switch to a business account. That's basically the general gist. And then all your photos here. Now I'll actually go ahead and give, give you guys some tips on uploading photos on Instagram to making your photos more recognizable. So go ahead and hit that little plus icon. Let's say I wanted to re-upload this photo. So just click on whichever photo you want. Go ahead and hit next. Now you can go ahead and pick whatever filter you want to make your Instagram photo as nice as you possibly can. So let's just say I want to hit normal. Now I did, I did think when this video out, when this video is out, I think it will be after my how to edit your photos. So you can go ahead and watch that video to make your photos look as nice as you possibly can. So go ahead and hit next. As you guys can see here, so then you want to write some kind of caption. You want to write some kind of description so people that not only so they can visually see your photo, but they can also read what your photo is about, what you're trying to convey. Say you up, uploaded a new video on YouTube, you're going to want to advertise that so people can actually so people know you've actually uploaded the video. Here you can just add locations, here you can just tag people, so let's say you're a bunch of people in the photo or business, you can go ahead and tag them in your photo. You can actually upload directly to your Facebook or Twitter accounts, and that sums it up right there. But also in captions, after you write some kind of caption, you're going to want to do some kind of hashtag. Hashtags are a great way for people and businesses to actually see what you're about, to actually get discovered on the hashtag page. So what you want to do is you want to hit hashtag, and you can see I've already done some hashtags, and you want to do a hashtag that maybe has a million posts, 57,000 posts. You want to have a popular hashtag. Now as you guys can see, I'll go ahead and discard this, cancel, and as you guys can see, I already uploaded this, I'm not going to re-upload it, but as you can see, so I have, I have a caption. It says, just released my newest video on my YouTube channel, the video is about the best winter essentials. That gives people kind of a... a I don't know, an awareness that what you've done. So make sure you go ahead and definitely give a caption. Without captions, photos without captions don't look really, really good. You're not going to be able to promote yourself or build your business up from doing that. As you can see, there's hashtags. Now, I mean, this this photo did a couple, bit okay. It gave about 39 likes. I know this one, I think this is my best one. Yeah, 54 likes. So, I mean, that's not a lot for some people, but for me, very small. I've only been doing this for about four months with almost no, like, people helping me start up. So that's just kind of my general tips is to Instagram you can go ahead and kind of watch through if you miss anything go ahead add stories you can add them to highlights people can see like a grouping of things a trip or YouTube videos or travel or something like make sure you have a good bio make sure you actually switch your account to a business account so you can put yourself in some kind of category I also forgot you you can also put some kind of website to so either to a YouTube channel or a Facebook page make sure people can Right here just says like YouTube channel link in bio, so they can click on that and it'll direct you, direct them to your YouTube channel. So it's a great way to advertise yourself. When you go ahead and post photos, make sure you write an enticing ca caption. Go ahead and put hashtags to make your photos more discoverable or anything like that. So anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to go ahead 
and stop the screen recording on my iPhone because that's basically the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on my social media. My Instagram should be right up here. I post some really cool stories. They'll also be up on the screen if you want to go ahead and check that out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video and comment down below what do you think of this. Did I miss something? I may go back and stop this and realize, wait, I missed something. But whatever, go ahead and comment down below if, I, if you think I missed something or didn't cover a topic really clear you still are kind of confused. Anyways guys, I will see you guys in the next video that is part three of my behind the scenes series. Peace!